Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about drop pipe for well applications. And uh, there's a few different types of drop pipe that we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about poly or high density uh, poly pipe. We're going to be talking about traditional uh, steel galvanized drop pipe. And we're also going to be talking about PVC drop pipe and kind of going over some of the pros and cons associated with those different types of drop pipe. Now, it may be interesting to know that there's actually a, a number of different things to consider when selecting drop pipe. Uh, you wanna consider the weight limitations. You're gonna wanna consider the flow restriction. You're gonna wanna consider the, uh, the, the water quality or the conditions of the water within the well. And in addition to that, you're gonna wanna also consider the ease of installation and removal of the drop pipe from the well. Because most often when we're talking about the costs associated with a, a home well system, uh, one of the highest costs is associated with when you actually have to pay somebody to come out and pull the pump out of the well or or do work on any of the equipment within the well itself that the costs definitely add up quickly there so hopefully this this video guide is going to help you to choose a little bit better uh, when selecting drop pipe so the first thing we're going to look at is the pvc drop pipe and we're going to look at the uh, weight limitations or the depth limitations of the pipe uh, for a PVC drop pipe, you're generally limited to one and a half horsepower on one inch drop pipe and uh, two horsepower on inch and a quarter drop pipe. And the one inch drop pipe is rated to go down about 700 or so feet. And then the inch and a quarter drop pipe is rated for just around 600 feet. So in general, the, uh, the PVC drop pipe is a pretty capable drop pipe for most well applications. Now we'll take a look at the poly pipe. All right, so when it comes to poly pipe, uh, you'll see a lot of information out there published by pipe manufacturers that advise pretty extreme depths of what poly pipe is capable of being installed at because it's arguably one of the most durable and tough pipes out there. It's extremely tough and chemical resistant. Um, so you'll see things out there that will indicate that you can go hundreds and hundreds of feet down a well with no problem. Now the problem comes when it actually comes to actually pulling the pipe from the well or putting the pipe in the well, it can be very difficult. So we personally, or here at RC Worst, we recommend that a person doesn't use poly drop pipe for uh, d well depths deeper than 100 feet because when it comes to yarding this out of the well, when you have a, a whole bunch of pipe, it really doesn't have anywhere to go and it becomes just a real big wrestling match trying to get that pipe out of the well. So keep that in mind when you're comparing the poly pipe. And another thing to consider with the poly pipe is that if you're uh, the type of person that plans on servicing your own well uh, or pulling your uh, pulling the pump out of your own well and setting your own pump uh, you might think about poly pipe because generally a couple of guys can pull the pipe out and and put the pump in the well relatively easily it's just a little bit uh, a little bit of a wrestling match as i said but uh, when it comes to your intention of having a well service company come out and pull and service your well it, it tends to be troublesome for like a hoist truck or even like an easy out to to pull the pipe from the well it, it's just not really conducive because it's all one continuous piece whereas with like pvc drop pipe or galvanized drop pipe you're able to take it out in sections and set it off to the side. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the poly pipe. All right, and finally, galvanized drop pipe. Now, galvanized drop pipe is essentially the be all, end all drop pipe. This stuff will almost get you to the earth's core in terms of weight limitations. Um, it actually becomes a factor of how much weight your check valve can hold as opposed to how much weight the pipe can hold because it's very tough stuff. Um, I generally will tell people that galvanized drop pipe will last you anywhere from about 15 to 20 years in a standard well. Uh, and that's because it is zinc coated to prevent rust and corrosion. And it takes about that long for that zinc coating to kind of wear out. Uh, so keep that in mind also as you're selecting those drop pipes. When, when you're looking at uh, galvanized drop pipe specifically, uh, the Schedule 40 galvanized drop pipe in, uh, in this size is rated for 
pretty close to about 2100 PSI, just to kind of give you some scale as to what it's rated for. Whereas if you had like an extremely deep well, you may consider going with like a Schedule 80 galvanized pipe, and that just means it's gonna have a thicker wall. And Schedule 80 galvanized pipe is rated for approximately 3500 PSI. So again, it becomes a factor of how much weight your check valve can actually handle more so than it is the amount of weight that the, that the pipe itself can handle. So I mentioned that the galvanized drop pipe is rated for excessive pressures, 2000 or so PSI. I just wanted to briefly cover, so the PVC drop pipe, this is Schedule 120 PVC. Uh, this inch and a quarter piece is rated for 600 PSI. And then the poly, uh, poly drop pipe that we use is rated for 250 PSI. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that your operating pressure in conjunction with your well depth and so forth is, is all in line not to exceed those pipes pressures. When we're looking at the different drop pipes, you also are gonna have fittings like check valves, pitless adapters, and things like that in the well. So you wanna make sure that all of those fittings are rated for the weight and the depth as well. So just to give you an example, your typical brass check valve, which is no doubt the most common out there, is rated for only about 600 feet, whereas a ductile iron check valve is rated for upwards of uh, 1500 feet or greater. So be aware of that when you're selecting the other components uh, outside of just the drop pipe itself so that you've got good strong connections and, and don't run any risk of things falling down the well. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the flow restriction or the amount of friction loss that you can expect. Now, friction loss is essentially lost energy. Uh, so minimizing your friction loss is gonna help you to save money on the electricity bill and it's gonna help your system to operate more efficiently. Uh, so when we compare the drop, uh, the PVC drop pipe, the galvanized and the poly, the galvanized drop pipe fits right in the middle uh, in terms of its ability to uh, restrict flow and so forth. It, it, galvanized drop pipe, because it's steel, it has a relatively thin wall, so you've got a pretty good inside diameter relative to the size of the pipe. So it's not overly restrictive. But when we compare the PVC and the poly pipe, which both of those are quite a bit smoother internally than the galvanized pipe, but they actually have the same friction loss coefficient as one another. Since they both have the same friction loss characteristics, then it just becomes a matter of which one has the largest inside diameter. Now of the two between the poly pipe and the uh, PVC pipe, PVC class 120 is going to have uh, a smaller inside diameter, so it's gonna be a lot more restrictive than poly pipe. Surprisingly, the poly pipe is the least restrictive out of all three. So I've prepared an example of 100 feet of pipe, and as many of you know, if you're previous viewers, 100 feet of pipe is exactly 100 feet of pipe. And uh, what we've done is we'll assume that we're pumping 25 gallons a minute through that pipe. And when we look at what the friction loss characteristics are, and we're gonna put those on the screen for you, through the poly pipe, you've got about 30 feet of friction loss, or roughly 12 PSI. Through the PVC drop pipe, you have about 66 feet, or uh, 29 PSI lost. And then through the galvanized pipe, you have about 64 feet, or uh, what, 20, 27 PSI, 26 PSI lost. So the when comparing the PVC drop pipe to the galvanized pipe, they're actually quite similar in terms of the amount of friction loss, but the uh, the poly pipe definitely takes the win on this one. Now we're gonna discuss the water composition and how that can influence your decision to select a drop pipe. Generally speaking, uh, galvanized pipe is the toughest, most durable, most rigid, most ready to go out of the gate, and uh, in most cases, the easiest to work with. But, and there's a big but, um, it, it is, uh, it's very susceptible to corrosive water. So if you have very aggressive water, uh, galvanized pipe is not gonna be what you wanna use. And you'll wanna look at PVC or poly pipe because they're very chemically resistant and they're gonna be able to hold up 
for much longer periods of time in those very aggressive water environments. Finally, we're on to ease of installation or ease of working with it. Uh, in addition to installation, we consider the ease of removal. Uh, when it comes to these different pipe types, galvanized is going to be one of the easiest uh, to remove from the well with a hoist truck or an easy out. So uh, for a well service company, working with galvanized pipe is a lot more predictable, it's a lot easier, and it's quite a bit safer than, than a couple of the other alternatives. Uh, when it comes to poly pipe, for example, since it's all one continuous string, as you're pulling that pipe out of the well, you end up with uh, coils and so forth around the well area. And if somebody were to let that pipe go and it started to drop and you had your leg in one of those loops, you could potentially end up with a broken leg or worse. So in terms of safety, a person has to be a lot more cautious using poly pipe because there's just more risk involved because you're not able to take it apart in pieces and move it out of the way and kind of keep a nice clear work area. Um, so in addition to that, you'll find that even if you're using an easy out or something with the poly pipe, uh, which is the tripod with wheels that kind of you run the pipe through, uh, when, when the pipe sits down in the well for a while, it gets in some cases slimy. So if you've got a, a lot of iron in your well or something along those lines, the easy out's just not going to work. It may work great for putting it in the well while the pipe is dry and clean, but once it's been down there a while, you can have some real bad problems. Now, that, that sliminess or that, that uh, slickness also applies to manually pulling it out of the well. We've got a fire truck coming, sounds like. So as I was saying before the fire truck came, uh, the, uh, the poly pipe, like I I said it gets a little bit slippery so even if your intention is to pull it by hand that can cause some problems and couple that with some of the safety risks involved and that's another reason why our recommendation on the depth is so short and finally when it comes to this PVC drop pipe it gets a little bit uh, wobbly a little bit crazy on you uh, sometimes especially when you got a 21 foot stick of PVC drop pipe up in the air it gets a little bit wonky so keep that in mind uh, when you're when you're selecting those drop pipes all right so I hope that this video shed some light for you on selecting drop pipe uh, or at least giving you some idea of the things to consider when selecting drop pipe I want to thank you for joining me today and don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content and we'll see you next time.